How you going everyone? Corey Baker here. So I'm here today to answer your questions that you guys asked on my returning to YouTube video. And so this is my returning to YouTube Q&A. So I've got all my questions on my phone. And stay tuned to the end of the video because we've got a surprise coming for you. Okay, first of all, what do you reckon of my phone cover? I'm very proud of my phone cover. All right. Okay, so my first question answering today is from Twitter, from Jurassic Unicast. Jurassic Unicast asks, in your absence, the social media has gone Jurassic mad. What are you looking forward to the most? So, I'm looking forward to two things. Obviously, the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom movie. That looks really good from what I've seen. A few more, quite obviously, a few more questions about that later on in the, in the video. And another thing in particular, I'm looking super, well, I'm super keen for Jurassic World Evolution, the video game. So we're basically getting a Jurassic Park Operation Genesis sequel almost. So, but I'm not too keen on the name. I reckon they should have called it Jurassic World Operation Genesis. How about that? That would have been cool. All right, so now to the YouTube comments. I'm going from the bottom to uh, the top. So this is from Moonwalker77. So he, she's or she or he has asked two questions. What's your favorite dinosaur? So that is the T-Rex. I know it's very cliche, but it's the Tyrannosaurus, Tyrant Lizard King. He doesn't call it Tyrant Lizard King for no reason. He's the goddamn king of the dinosaurs. Uh, so T-Rex is my favorite dinosaur, and your favorite, uh, and what is your favorite character from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World? So I'll say, I'll, I'll, I'll split them in half. So my favorite character from Jurassic Park is Dr. Malcolm. I love that guy. Jeff Goldblum, you can't go wrong with Jeff Goldblum. He's a freaking legend. And Jurassic World, my favorite character is um, Chris Pratt's character, Owen. I reckon he's pretty cool in the movie. So thanks for your question, Moonwalker77. Next question is from I Killed Captain Alex. And that question is, when did you start getting into dinosaurs? So as far as I remember, I always kind of really had an interest in dinosaurs. I think maybe two is when I started, but it never really hit me until I Obviously, and if you look, go back in my YouTube channel, you can see my uh, Jurassic Park videos when they came, the dinosaurs came to the zoo. That is when I really got into dinosaurs. When I saw those um, uh, dinosaur robots no, back in '97 in uh, Perth Zoo, so that's when I first really got into them. Thanks for your question. All right, so next question is from Country Rex, which I actually really like the name of your profile, Country Rex. Okay, so which new dinosaur are you looking forward to most in Fallen Kingdom? So yeah, pretty. they've got a few interesting dinosaurs coming up in the next movie. My favourite, and the one I'm looking most forward to, which I've always wanted them to include, is the Carnotaur, Carnotaurus. Uh, that looks like it's going to be a really cool villain dinosaur of the movie, and I'm really looking forward to that. Not too keen on the Indoraptor, obviously this is another made up one like the Indominus Rex but I'm really looking forward to the Carnotaurus and, and I like how they have made it the classic red colouring just like Dinosaur 2000 from um, Disney Disney Dinosaur and oh, and he's also Country Rex also said I'm looking forward to the Baryonyx which does look very interesting but my favourite and I'm looking forward to is the Carnotaurus Alright, thank you for your question. Jedi Daniel, hello Jedi Daniel. I uh, good friends with Den Jedi Daniels. What was the first movie you saw in cinemas? Oh man, that's a very hard question. I should have actually looked at this and thought about it before. I'm filming the video. Um, it's almost, I, I, I can almost not even pinpoint first one. One of the first ones I can remember seeing is, like I just mentioned, uh, Disney Dinosaur. But I know for a fact I saw... Oh. Nah. <laughs> can't, 
can't remember. I think it must have been one of the Disney, like animated Disney films or something. It was definitely a kids movie that my mum would have sent me, um, where it took taken me to. Um, honestly, I cannot tell you what it was. It would have been a long time ago. Okay. Sorry about that. Can't answer your question. Okay, so this is from The Loaf General. What is your favourite dinosaur or human from the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom line? Okay, so obviously I'm really excited for the Carnotaurus and I'm looking forward to the Carnotaurus toy. That looks uh, pretty awesome. I'm also really looking forward to just having a look at the Triceratops for some reason as well. Um, which, uh, stay tuned for the end of the video. Um, so that's my two. Uh, dinosaur, uh, human. Probably looking forward to the classic line, the um, Dr. Grant figure. That looks cool, pretty cool from the new uh, Mattel toy line. So yeah. Okay, next question. It looks like it says, it, it's patchy, it's packy bro, asks, where did you learn to crack a whip? Love your videos and welcome back. Thanks very much. Um, I learned to crack a whip back in New Zealand when I very first, well basically, my little whip story was I, f I saw it on YouTube and I thought it looked cool and I wanted to try it. So I bought a whip when I visited New Zealand back in 2009 and ever since then I was, was uh, le uh, learning and teaching myself from YouTube videos, um, mainly from Adam Winrich and if you, anyone's into whip cracking, you know who Adam Winrich, Adam, Adam Winrich is, he's one of the main uh, whip guys on the YouTube. And he, and he has a lot of tutorials and stuff, and that's how he pretty much taught, taught me how to crack a whip the way I can now. Thank you very much for your question. What's your reaction to the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, Kingdom toy line uh, from Bagel TV? All right, so I, I reckon it's basically what we should have got for Jurassic World, and they've and you can definitely tell that they've listened to the fans um, and what the fans wanted. So I'm really I'm really happy with what they've come up with, really. And it looks like they've just really, they've really put effort in. And I'm excited to see them and see what they look like. Which is sooner than you think. <laughs> just, oh, there's a surprise coming, okay? Alright, so, Thomas X. This is not really a question, yay, glad you're back, mate. I missed you, thank you, Thomas X. Okay, Frogosaurus TV. Now that's a really good name. Congratulations on that name. All right, what is your favorite YouTube channel? I've got a couple. Obviously, very one of my favorites and a buddy of mine, Jurassic Collectibles. I'm sure you guys all uh, subscribe to him, and you better be. Uh, I really, I really like Smarter Every Day. I, I love uh, his videos. There's a few others. There's just so many. YouTube video, uh, YouTube channels to really choose from. Uh, Clayton Fioriti, Clayton Fioriti. I've been watching his videos. Very good. If you like Jurassic Park theories and stuff, have a look at his videos. He's been doing some good stuff. All right, thank you, thank you for your uh, question. Thanks for your question, Frogosaurus TV. And again, great name. All right. So here we go, this is from Clickathon. Corey, please understand I'm a fan and I'm so glad to see you back. Thank you very much. But why are you called Corey Baker, yet you pronounce it Corey ba Beggar? Maybe it's just your Australian accent. It is just my Australian accent. Corey Baker is my name. Thanks for your question. All right, Jurassic Noodles. Man, we're getting some really good names coming up. Jurassic Noodles asks, will you be buying the new Jurassic World figures by Mattel? If yes, which ones will you buy first? Stay tuned to the end of the video. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, awesome to have you back. What are your thoughts on Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom so far? Okay, that's a cool question. That is from JP Fan. That's his name. Now, I think it looks 
really interesting. Now this time around, this is another reason I haven't been really around on the internet much, is I'm actually staying, I'm staying out of it all to be honest. Like, like when Jurassic World came out, I kind of went full deep into watching all the trailers and deciphering what's going to happen. I'm just going for the ride this time, I'm kind of just, I'm just laying back, sitting back and just relaxing and seeing where the movie is going to take me. It looks really interesting though, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to what, what kind of angle they take because it doesn't look like anything we've really had before in the Jurassic Park movie and I really like it how it looks like a lot of the movie is not even taking place on Isla Nubra at all and I'm just really, really excited to see what they come up with and, and the new dinosaurs and stuff so I reckon it looks really cool. Okay, so now next question, the Jurassic Man, he says, my favourite Aussie is back. Thanks very much. What's been going on and have you seen the new Mattel Jurassic World toys? Okay, so same sort of question that we haven't had before about the toys, yes I have. Looking uh, very forward to seeing them up close. Um, and what's been going on, he says, I've pretty much been very busy with life. So I be yeah, I actually work as a zookeeper in a wildlife park. We are here in Perth, WA. And it keeps me very busy. And I've done just living life pretty much, enjoying my twenties. So that's why I'm back. I'm enjoying I'm uh, going to enjoy making some videos again because uh, I want to I want to come back into the internet world. Alright, did you see, so this is from Master Builder 164 Did you see the new Mattel action figures for Jurassic World? If so, what do you think of it? P.S. Welcome back. Thanks very much. Um, and the same question about the toys, well, everyone's very excited about the toys. Uh, yes, I have seen them, the action figures. Uh, they look very good. Looks like they've put a lot of effort in. And looking forward to seeing them. Alright, so from Augustin Diaz. Gustin Diaz asks, what was your first dinosaur or JP toy? Okay, I can actually say tell you this one. So my first dinosaur toy, I had um, a set of four. It was a Brachiosaurus, Stegosaurus, Dilophosaurus, and Triceratops. And they were made some from weird, some weird, <laughs> some weird Chinese company. And they were like two dollars. It, um, it was they weren't. They weren't, they weren't branded or anything, they were just some weird dinosaur toy you could get up from some, just a, from a shop called WA Salvage we have here in Perth. And they were just really weird looking dinosaurs, but um, when I was little I loved them so much. And I got I got more of them eventually, but that was my first four dinosaurs, and that kind of set me, set me on the path of enjoying dinosaur toys. And my very first, my very first Jurassic Park toy would have been the baby T-Rex from the Lost World toy line from Kenner. So the one where the we put the bandage on his leg, and he's got a broken leg. And that must have been my first one. That or it was Eddie Carr uh, with little baby Triceratops with that little um like slingshot rope thing he comes with. So that was my first two. And then closely after that I got the Velociraptor that lunges out of his capture gear. And then my first first one of the first toy line was the Dilophosaurus, with the electric one with the thrill. You can take it on and off. All right, thank you for your question. That was a good one. All right, Sima uh, from Sim. Uh, this is gonna be, okay. okay. Simon Simon U05. Uh, they ask, what do you think about the new Jurassic World Fallen Teen Kingdom toy line? Okay, same sort of question about the toy line. I think it looks pretty awesome. Stay tuned to the end of the video for more info on that. And then, okay, so our last question. We didn't have many questions, but this is our last one. Which Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys are you looking f at getting first? All right. That was from Cody the Tyrant King. I remember Cody the Tyrant King. So, thanks for your question. Now, I might as well just, it's funny you ask that one because I've got some really cool news for you guys, right over here, the whole time. I've got some packages here, and if you can read this package, first, this is the first package, we've got one from Mattel here, and it says, uh, Jurassic World Super Colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex. How about that? 
So that looks exciting. And I've got one more here. And this should be uh, a full of them as well. So uh, we've got the Mattel toy line here. Now, the thing about that, these, this has been sent to me very... So thank you so much to Jurassic Collectibles. I mentioned him before. Everyone knows who he is. He's a Jurassic god on YouTube. He has sent me these to me to do some videos for the Jurassic Collectibles channel. So, if you guys want to see all about the toys and what I think about the toys, you're going to have to go over to Jurassic Collectibles because that's where you're going to see all the videos I make about these guys. So, I thank you so much Jurassic Collectibles for the, for the honour of making the videos. And I'm going to get on that right away. So guys, stay tuned on my channel for more videos of, from me. Um, and all sorts of stuff I've got to show you. And for the Jurassic Park, uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line um, from Mattel. All the videos I'm going to make from that are going on Jurassic Collectibles channel. So stay tuned to his channel. Which will be coming as soon as I can finish them and send them off to him. To... Uh, Put on his channel so thank you so much and uh, thank you so much for your questions guys as I always like doing Q&A's I'm gonna try and do one uh, soonish again uh, let's say I'll do one do one around June I'll, actually I'll do one after the movie comes out how about that that's a good one all right thank you very much stay tuned rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the future very soon see you later